Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, Yanti's Universe. It's me, Yanta. This is going to be your weekly love predictions. This is for all signs. All the way from Aries to Pisces. You guys, you can follow me on my social media. Book a personal reading with me. That'll really help me. Like and subscribe. You can share and comment as well. Um... <laughs> I'm just a little tired, but let's get these readings out, right? Okay. Thank you guys so much for all of your love and support. Thank you so much. I'm going to try to start going. I know that I said I'm going to be going live on Fridays at 7 Central Standard Time. Now that I'm not working, I can go live a lot more often. So if you want to see me live, be there or be square. But let's see. Let's see. This is this will be a weekly love prediction for all signs. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, protect me as I go with the material. Please keep me safe. Return to sender any and all negativity. And no weapon that's formed against me shall prosper. Only the ones I've called upon are welcome here. I shame. Thank you, universe. Please give me clear, honest messages. We're starting with Aries going all the way to Pisces, okay? Ooh, Aries. You have the Two of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Could be dealing with the Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. But we do have the Seven of Swords. So is this a secret love affair? We have the Queen of Wands. Oh. The Queen of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles. So it's either a secret that you like the same sex. <clears throat> Maybe you're coming out the closet. Maybe it's a secret that your friend, brother, sister, cousin, whoever likes the same likes the same sex to be honest. they like the same um gender or whatever but uh let's see i feel like somebody might i feel i also feel somebody might be avoiding responsibility they want to have all the fun all the sex and all the benefits and the relationship and the title but when it comes to responsibility they're avoiding it they want so be careful of this person maybe they're strategizing let me clarify what the seven of swords could be you could be dealing with an aquarius taurus virgo capricorn aries leo sag cancer pisces or scorpio clarify the seven of swords for aries the ace of cups you're just not okay so you could be secretly pregnant but I get a secret love affair. It don't have to be with two people. It could just be with one person. A secret love affair. Or for the rest of you Aries who are single, you got options. The Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups. I'm sorry, the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands, my bad. I saw the Queen of Cups, that's why I said it. Hmm, clarify the Queen of Pentacles. The Nine of Cups. The Earth sign is your wish fulfillment. Clarify the Queen of Wands. The Chariot. But you like you like how fast and fun and just flirty and alive and vibrant that this Queen of Wands is. Maybe this could all be one person. And you like that they have all of these characteristics. Clarify the Seven of Swords and the Ace of Cups. The Nine of Pentacles. You're, this is still a single card. You want to have fun. You want to be in a relationship. You want to have all the benefits, but still do what you want to do and maintain your independence and your freedom. Still have parts of yourself where you hold back. Could be dealing with the Leo. I just, it looks like, it looks beautiful. It looks like you're having fun and you're getting what you want. And you're just keeping a safe distance as well. I see you in a relationship. This could be what someone's doing to you or what you're doing to them. Could be dealing with the cancer. Cancer is the only major that came out. But you can be dealing with any fire sign, earth sign, or water sign. Or Leo. Come on, Taurus. Alright. Got the two of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with the Capricorn. 
what's going on for Taurus this week in their love life. Could be dealing with the Cancer or Pisces with the Moon card. You're guarded. You could be afraid of someone or something. Could be afraid of an outcome of a situation. Three of Cups. Whew. What is going on? Knight of Swords. Someone's coming in fast. Hot and heavy. King of Wands. They strong arming you. I'm not going to lie. Knight of Cups. Knight of Swords, Knight of Cups, they strong arming you. How can you say no? <laughs> this person is coming in hot and heavy. Yeah, Four of Cups, Six of Cups, hot and heavy. Mm, it's a soulmate. Or someone you have children or memories with. But there's some type of like fear when it comes to this person or relationship. Clarify the moon. It could just be a Cancer or a Pisces. Clarify the moon. Eight of Wands, secret communication. Mm, somebody could, could be, they could be coming over during the night. Clarify the Eight of Wands and the Moon. The Queen of Wands, the King and Queen of Wands is out. I don't need to pull any more cards. You are making up with someone, having makeup sex with someone. And there is Leo Sag. Here's the match right here. Your match. The Ace of Pentacles. Here's your new start. With the Six of Cups, this could be a soulmate or someone that you already know. It doesn't have to be a player. I didn't get any super malicious cards. I just see you having makeup sex with someone or someone could be taking you out on a date. Someone that you're not too sure about that you do want to hold back from a little. But you like this person. You probably know their friends. They probably know your friends. Okay? They're going to wind it down you and I do see you meeting your match. Especially in the bedroom. Come on, Gemini. The tower, you could be dealing with the Scorpio. Oh, and we have the King of Pentacles right here. Cap uh, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay, so these are two very mature people. The King of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands are very mature people. Very wise. Clarify the tower. Ten of Wands. Okay, there's been an ending to a lot of burdens, a lot of stress, maybe um, lightening your load because you probably had a lot of responsibilities. You got the Queen of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. The family, you could be a wife, a mother, a husband, father, Eight of Pentacles. All right, clarify the King of Pentacles. Who is this for, Gemini? The Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, money, assets, monetary items, six of pentacles, money, money, money. But this is slow energy and a little, it could be a little hard to work in and operate in. Because this is earth energy, Gemini, and you're an air sign. Getting grounded like this is, you just basically out of your element. Could be done with the Capricorn, with the devil. And the nine, the nine of pentacles. We got the king of pentacles, knight of pentacles, six of pentacles. Ten of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, so much money. So we have the six, eight, nine, ten, and the night. Yeah, a lot of, why are you in all of this earth energy? The Nine of Wands, maybe something ended, something happened, something shook your core with the Tower and the Ten of Wands to the point to where you don't ever want to be unstable again, ever. Clarify. Yeah, we got the Five of Cups and the Five of Pentacles right here. Five of Cups, Five of Pentacles. Yet yeah, something devastated you. Half. So did you get a divorce? So maybe you have a partner or somebody did something to where you have to give them half of everything. Clarify the Queen of Swords. The Ten of Cups. We got the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. So if you want a family, you're going to have to be able to provide for this family. If you want a boyfriend or a girlfriend, you're going to have to be able to provide for this boyfriend or girlfriend. You're 50-50. Okay? So this could be your parents, your wife, husband, partner. I'm telling you, hey, you got to start pulling your weight. You can't be flighty no more. 
All right. Give me a different message for Gemini. Ooh, you could be dealing with the Leo. We got the Sun card. You could be pregnant. We have the Nine of Swords. What are you in your head about? The Ace of Swords. Some type of truth, clarity, decision, or ending. Or a message with the Page of Wands. Seven of Wands. Clarify the Ace of Wands. I'm sorry. This is the Ace of Swords. Nine of Wands. Clarify the Ace of Swords. Clarify the Ace of Swords. Nine of Pentacles. We have two nines. I'm sorry, three nines coming out. Nine of Pentacles, nine of Wands, nine of Swords. Nine weeks, nine months, nine days. So maybe you have to go to training, rehab, um, overseas, some type of shit for nine weeks, nine months, nine days. I don't know what it is. Yeah, nine months could be nine months pregnant with the sun. It could represent children. There's some, some type of truth, some type of communication, or some type of clarity that you get. It's happy for one person, but the other person is stressed out about it. Clarify the Seven of Wands. Three of Cups. It could be a family gathering where somebody announces this inner information. There's going to be an announcement. Whether you're giving the announcement or on the receiving end of the announcement. Okay, who is that? Gemini? Come on, Cancer. I lost track of who the hell I was on, and I don't know if I already did Cancer. But come on, Cancer. Cancer, Cancer. Oh. We got the Four of Pentacles right here. Um, penny pinching, holding back, not being open. We have the Devil card. So there's something you're obsessing over holding on to. The Page of Cups could be an infatuation. All right, what's going on for Cancer? Somebody could have an infatuation about you. Page of Cups, Page of Pentacles. Five of Swords, the Lovers. A decision, feeling defeated. Maybe you feel like this person doesn't have the same feelings for you as you do of them. Yeah, because we have the Five of Pentacles right here. Clarify the Four of Pentacles. You can't show somebody how much you like them. You really like them. They're going to think you're crazy if you tell them how much you like them. Yeah, Queen of Cups, you love them. You do. You're holding back your feelings for them. You want to either reunite with them or um, finally be with them if this is your first time ever being with them. I hear love at first sight. Clarify the devil. Could be a Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces. Four of Swords. Oversleeping. Overthinking. Clarify the devil in the Four of Swords. Dreaming. Obsessing. I hear a secret is out. The Four of Swords. You have the Four of Swords, Four of Pentacles. Uh I hear this is this this is very specific and it won't resonate for all of y'all. So just hear me out. So I hear um, if you if you have somebody, if you're talking to somebody, if you're dating somebody, or if you, even if you're just sleeping with somebody, when you go to bed next to them, so say they come over, they spend the night, y'all sleep in the same bed together. In your sleep, you're going to say something in your sleep. In their sleep, they're going to say something in their sleep that's going to cause this tower moment. I'm getting some. I'm getting a crazy ass message. It's crazy. Clarify the devil, the four of swords, and the tower. Yeah, judgment and the nine of swords. I don't know if they're gonna call you somebody's somebody else's name. Or if they're going to do something crazy. I don't even know if something like weird and ominous and spiritual or spooky happens when you're sleeping next to this person. But that's going to be the end of that. And you probably will not want to fuck with them no more. Yeah, the Ten of Swords. Like, I'm like so for real, y'all. Okay, but for others of you who this does not resonate with, um, 
if you had a secret obsession that you were trying to keep hidden with the four of swords and the four of pentacles it's going to come out you're gonna it's gonna explode you're not gonna be able to hold it in no more and here comes out this love and um affection it's gonna be a confession of love page of pentacles page of cups clarify the five of swords and you're gonna be like damn why did i say that why did i say that they'll probably think i'm weird they'll probably think i'm crazy knight of wands where about the knight of wands and the five of swords the star how can i fix this oh <laughs> <laughs> hey so i'm getting two <laughs> i'm getting two messages so who is this on cancer cancer i don't know if you meet a new person and y'all have sex for the first time so for the first time this person is either going to nut fast or they're not going to be able to get it up with the knight of wands and the five of swords they're either going to nut fast they're not be able to get it up and they're going to be like fuck how do i redeem myself I need to fix this like what's wrong with me like ever since they weren't able to perform well with you their ego has been bruised okay and they really want to fix it all right can we please try again can we go another round um for others of you oh for others of you if it, if you guys are sleeping in the bed together they're just going to get a hard on and they're trying so so hard not to get a hard on but they do and now that they have this hard on, now they dick is hard, it makes it like super awkward and you're like, ooh, can you get away from me? Okay, so, Leo. Now that I wasted all this time on cancer, come on, Leo. This is your weekly love predictions. Ooh, the lovers could be done with the Gemini. We do have the three of swords. Yes, it's multiple people. Six of pentacles. It's all here. Everybody and their mama's here. Four of cups. Okay. The wheel. So Leo, I'm getting your I'm getting your storyline. You could have been dealing with a Gemini or somebody you had a really strong connection with. It ended. There were multiple people involved. This person was breadcrumbing you. And they made you feel like you were unwanted, like they did not want your cup of love. And you felt like you couldn't go, you couldn't move anywhere. You felt stagnant energy at first. But now the wheel is turning and you're over that bullshit. Okay. Clarify the lovers. Eight of Cups. She walked away from this connection. Easy. Give me another story for Leo. Yeah, you walked away from this connection. More confirming that the death card is over. Easy. Give me another message for Leo. Five of Wands, arguing, conflict. Nine of Wands, guard yourself. A lot of fire energy, the Hierophant. The Taurus, Libra, higher levels of commitment, being stubborn, values, traditions, the government. Ace of Wands, a lot of fire, Leo. Justice. I get you get into a really bad argument with your family or your friends and after you blow up on them, they're not going to want to hang around you for a little while, Leo. And uh, that's fine. You don't give a fuck about that. Um, I feel like you've been thinking for a while you need to distance yourself from these people anyway. Clarify the Five of Wands. Three of Swords. Yeah, exactly. You've been um, thinking about distancing yourself from these toxic people anyway. Whether it's the people at your work or at home. Um, or your lovers, you've been feeling it intuitively. Clarify the Nine of Wands. Page of Cups. There is someone who does like you, but I don't think you're too open to love. Page of Pentacles. Clarify the Hierophant. The King of Cups. Yeah, somebody does like you. Maybe even love you as well. Somebody wants to do you, do you a favor. Clarify the King of Cups and the Hierophant. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Taurus, or Libra. The Five of Pentacles. And then the Queen of Pentacles. So you could be looking for a job right now, something that you like doing. <sighs> Clarify the Ace of Wands. The Nine of Swords. 
we have the queen of cups right here we have the king and queen of cups so i'm seeing there's an opportunity for love leo but i don't know if there something changed drastically in your life clarify justice the cherry yes yeah, something changed drastically in your life and it's like i don't have time for love but i see whatever needs to be balanced and made right whether it's legal or just uh, financial or what in your regular life love life is going to be made balanced and you're going to be able to move forward positively productively and swiftly but i think um your mind is trying to catch up to your heart your heart is ready for love i do see a connection here but your mind is not there all right virgo Virgo, please. All right, Virgo. What, what we got going on for you in love? Judgment. Decisions could be dealing with a Scorpio or a Sagittarius. Page of Swords. There's somebody you have your eye on or who has their eye on you. They're very fun, flirty, beautiful, sexy, attractive, passionate. And you want to take a leap of faith with them. Could be an Aries or a Pisces, or an Aquarius. Oh, wow. We have the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Someone who loves you, a wife, a mother, with the lovers, a Gemini. This is a strong connection. Then, boom, wham, bam, King of Cups. So, we have a pair as well. Leo had the King and Queen of Cups, too, so you could be dealing with the Leo. But there was an ending, Virgo. Ten of Swords. What happened? Clarify judgment. This could have been an ending or a reconciliation or just a decision. Clarify judgment for Virgo. Three of Wands, you turned your back on someone or something. And you're waiting on something new to come in. Your ships. Clarify the Three of Wands and judgment for Virgo. Ten of Swords. We just seen it. I told you there was an ending. You turned your back on something. There was definitely an ending. Something is over. Something was taking too long. Something never met its potential. You never received the fruits of your labor. Clarify the page of swords. Something new has caught your eye. Yeah, you never received the fruits of your labor. Five of Pentacles. But um, clarify the page of swords. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Knight of Cups. You have your eye on somebody. Somebody has their eye on you. They're infatuated with you. They want to speak with you, travel with you, communicate with you. Have passionate communication. Can we go out on a date? Let's go out of town. Let's go get dinner. You want to catch a movie? That's what I hear. Ooh, beautiful. Clarify the page of wands. Queen of wands. Oh, this, this fire sign is beautiful, attractive, very gorgeous, um, has great communication. But is this someone you've broken up with and you're trying to reconcile with them? Or maybe you broke up with someone and this is a new love coming into your life. Clarify the fool. You're fool in love, Virgo. Three of Cups. You want to reconcile. You're a fool in love. Two of Cups. This don't have to be reconciliation. I really get new energy. I feel like this is brand new. So maybe this is somebody you never got to live up to your fullest potential in the relationship i i said that before it never reached its full potential so it don't have to be a past um person who hurt you and wants to apologize and make things right this could be you know somebody you just never got to get things off the ground with clarify the lovers or a new person y'all clarify the lovers seven of wands you don't want to let anything get in the way of this connection four of pentacles yeah exactly because last time you let the gossip and the haters and the family and the naysayers ruin this connection you did four of swords you want you want it to be easy this time the sun you, it could definitely be a leo but this time you know, it's gonna be right it's gonna be fun it's gonna be the way it's supposed to be libra Libra. I 
see the king of wands and the queen of wands so i don't know if you're libra virgo plus or if that was for libra but or virgo which whichever one of y'all got the two of swords your energy libra what are you not seeing you feel like there's a stalemate the queen of swords speaking the truth communication you want healing you have a wish but something is too hard there's too many burdens you have a lot of responsibilities you have to focus on your money right now king of pentacles you have to focus on your money and your stability right now clarify the two of swords three of swords oh my goodness so not only oh my gosh that's a lot and the five of cups libra this is devastating um okay it won't last long this all could have been with a leo i don't know if you maybe had lost a child oh wow i hear cps got involved I don't know why, but CPS got involved. Queen of Swords, the lawyer, a judge. Caseworker. Libra. Clarify the um, Queen of Swords. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Libra, please. The Eight of Cups. You had to walk away from something. You had to give up someone or something. You had to. Ace of Swords. And it got you in your head about it. You still have nightmares about it. You still wonder if you made the right choice and right decision. This may be something that may um, you may take to your grave with you, or something that um, you may that it, I don't want to say it haunts you, but it's something you have to live with for the rest of your life. Clarify the Queen of Swords and the Eight of Cups. five of wands oh it's been it's been hell it's been stuck in your mind people throw it in your face five of pentacles it's like you can't get any rest oh my gosh ten of swords five of pentacles seven of swords libra this is heartbreaking this is breaking my heart You're at your breaking point, Libra. You can't take no more, Libra. You can't keep fighting. You can't go no more. Okay. Someone is going to step in. Spirit is going to step in. Are you going to take a step back? And breathe. Clarify the star for Libra. Two of Wands, a decision, a new opportunity, a way out of no way. Now, this could be you, cross watcher. Just flip the rose. A, a way out of no way. Victory, just when you thought it was over. Oh, here it comes. Victory celebration. It's been a while. I hear your knight in shining armor, this Aries, this emperor. Finally, somebody believes you finally someone listens to you finally someone takes your side someone has favor on you i don't know what this is in pertaining to libra finally you have help how did my cards get flipped like this finally you have help libra i don't know what this is Finally, somebody steps in for you and helps take the burden and stress off of you. I don't know who it is. I don't know what it is, but it's it's the financial stability you need. Financial, it, it, it's there. Okay, your needs will be met. Okay. Scorpio. Yeah, Libra. It's going to be balanced. Things are going to be made right. Okay, come on, Scorpio. Four of 
Four of Pentacles could be dealing with the Capricorn. Five of Swords, feeling um, defeated. Queen of Cups, when it comes to love. Two of Wands, maybe I'll just choose a new direction in love or I'll choose a new person. Matter of fact, I'll just love myself. I'll pick up a hobby with the Page of Swords. Knight of Cups, ooh. I didn't even think love was coming, but here it is. Grandfather, Four of Pentacles, Five of Cups. Oh my goodness. Scorpio, could you be. Watch the Libra reading. Um, oh, Lord have mercy. Grandfather, Five of Cups, and the Four of Pentacles. It broke your heart how guarded someone was. Maybe you don't, you're unsatisfied with not having enough money or not enough security uh queen of wands this is a, this is a sex only thing you're not emotionally fulfilled or financially the four of cups is penny pension not having enough or feeling like you don't have enough five of cups not being emotionally satisfied we have the five of swords feeling defeated six of pentacles bread crumbing eight of cups emotional distance Clarify the Queen of Cups. You could be dealing with the Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Three of Wands. Two of Cups. Here comes in this love. It's coming. Six of Wands. There's something you got to let go of or change with the Death card. Here's that new wand and that new dick. Okay? I'm sorry. I just had to say that. I don't know. <laughs> we have the lovers right here. Yeah, new dick. Okay, sorry. Uh, We're going to keep going. <laughs> Page of Swords, please. Page of Swords. Who is this? Who is this? Scorpio? Yeah. Five of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles. So, <laughs> you wrong for that. So, this person that you're interested in, Scorpio, they like you, but they feel like you're breadcrumbing them. Five of Pentacles. So, I don't know if you're getting back at this person or like just in love you decided you're gonna be the heartbreaker because you're able to be emotionally stable you don't need this person and they feel like that i don't know if you're getting with someone who feels like they need to be needed or this is you you feel like you need to be needed but i see you're focusing on your money we move from the four of pentacles to the five of pentacles to the six of pentacles then we jump to the nine of pentacles okay so not only are you on this journey of love but journey of more money and more stability and assets and finances as well clarify the knight of cups king of swords okay mm. king of pentacles wow how many men you got okay i love it king of cups too this is three kings but one is your match here they come the king of cups and the queen of cups Get your money. <clears throat> Sagittarius, please. Oh, my cards fall. I can't tell. Ooh, I don't think so. All right. Come on, Sag. Where you at? You could be dealing with the Virgo, with the Hermit. Introspection. Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, you're definitely going within. Focusing on yourself. The Wheel of Fortune. Sorry for the noise, y'all. Focusing on yourself. Just reflecting on all the things that you've sown how much time effort energy the moon very emotional during this time could be dealing with the cancer or a pisces ten of swords very emotional during this time okay knight of swords oh my goodness could be dealing with the cancer we have two cancer cards out the moon and the chariot clarify so sagittarius I see this reflection. So, so I see if... Okay, I'm trying to focus this on love. Somebody could be coming in and they're triggering you. Not in a bad way. 
you might get a little pissed off with the Knight of Swords, but it's ultimately going to help you make those moves you need to make. If nobody is triggering you, this energy that you're in and this self-reflection, you're just going through some growing pains. You're reflecting on the things you did in the past, things you said, things other people did, things other people said, and it got you in your feels. Don't blame yourself and don't be too hard on yourself. I should have did this. I should have said that. And it's going to make you angry. We're still going to get here to this Knight of Swords. You're still going to get angry regardless of if you're doing it to yourself or if somebody else is doing it. But it's going to help you move forward. That's what I see. Could be dealing with another Sagittarius, but this is your energy, Sag. Knight of Wands. I see sex as well. So, yeah. Capricorn. Four of Cups. Will they take your love off or will you take theirs? Could be dealing with an Aquarius. But someone does, doesn't does feel valuable or worthy or good enough. Eight of Pentacles. This is why they're going to work on themselves. But there's going to be some type of ending, breakup, or shakeup, or tower moment. Eight of Swords. That may leave someone stuck in their head or get them out of their head. Okay. Two eights right here. Eight, eight. Chariot movement forward. Clarify the Four of Cups for Capricorn. Ten of Wands, too much baggage, responsibility, emotional baggage that you cannot bring with you in this relationship. Clarify the Ten of Wands and the Four of Cups. They wouldn't want me if they knew about this or if they knew about that. Hermit card. Yeah, you're beating. You're going in and beating yourself up. That's all you're doing. What's the point? There's no point if you can't come back out of this. If you go in, make sure you're able to come back out. All right. What is it about you that you think others might not like? Why are you not seeing yourself as the star that you are, Capricorn? Okay. You could be dealing with the Leo. Oh, that's why. <laughs> you're dealing with the Leo. Yes, you're dealing with... Look. You're dealing with the Leo. We got strength, ace of cups, and then the sun. Boom. You see how the it just got all bright and shit right here since when Leo came out? That's why. Leo is shining so bright that you feel like you're being dimmed. You don't feel like you're as good as the Leo. And you are. You're the star. You. Capricorn, maybe they're the star in your eyes. Show this person how, how strong and courageous you can be. Maybe this Leo is showing you things about yourself that you've always wanted to change and now they're triggering you into changing the tower. I think this will be good for you. This Leo is teaching you something. Don't have to be a Leo. Could be anybody else. Could be an Aquarius or a Scorpio. But this is fixed energy. That's why. Yeah, when you get around fixed energy, they kind of rub you the wrong way a little. But hey, it's cool. All right. Um, clarify the star for Capricorn. You're so nervous around them. The emperor. You like this person. The emperor could be the empress. This Aries. Oh, you want it all with them. Clarify the emperor and the star. You feel like this is your divine match. Six of wands. So much victory with them. But you feel like they're an attention whore. You do. And you don't mean to feel that way. It's just because you, they kind of rub you the wrong way. Because you're, you're like a recluse. And they're like just super free out there, all open and shit. And you're like, can you please like close in like me? Why you got to be so big and loud? <laughs> <sighs> Clarify the tower for Capricorn. Four of Swords. You might end up. Don't tell me you're going to end up falling back from this person. I like this for you. Two of Cups. Oh, Capricorn. Clarify the Tower and the Four of Swords. You're giving your heart a break. Nine of Cups. They're your wish fulfillment. Okay, what can I do? I, 
I always think about the Leo. I want to be with the Leo. It might not be a Leo. Let me stop saying that. But why do they got... You're, you like this person to the point to where you're stuck on them. You are. Three of Swords. You're hurt from an, you're hurt from something else, someone else. This Leo triggers you. Or this person reminds you of someone, the person who hurt you in the past. Or this Three of Swords is a self, self-sabotaging, self, um, self-loathing type of energy. I don't know why this person triggers you like this i feel like they like you too but maybe you feel um inferior to them all right or vice versa come on aquarius come through big daddy king of pentacles taurus virgo capricorn ace of wands a new wand passionate communication and sex messages travel passion here you are aquarius i like you i like me when i'm with you what is it i love me better when i'm with you seven of cups got the page of pentacles all right so let's see clarify the king of pentacles you can have earth in your charter dealing with an earth sign Okay, but you're ready for a solid, stable commitment and connection. The fool. Yeah, you want to take a leap of faith into something long-term. King of Pentacles is long-term. Or you're taking the leap of faith in an investment with your money. Or buying a new home. Because King of Pentacles could be a purchase as well. Yeah, a new car. A new home. Traveling. Yep. Beautiful. Here's the sun again. Oh my gosh. Here's the sun and the two of cups. Yes, I like it. Okay, sorry. Clarify the fool. Six of cups. Yeah, I'm done with your reading. I love this. It's beautiful. It's a new person. It could be a Pisces. It could be another Aquarius, Aries, Pisces. Got more Pisces. Clarify the Ace of Wands. Who's the new deck? Two of Swords. A Libra. Ten of Cups. Clarify the Two of Swords. What are you not seeing? You don't see something coming. Clarify the Two of Swords and the Ace of Wands. You don't see this communication or this travel coming. This person's coming to travel to you. With the Justice card. I like that. With the Ace of Cups. I like this person. They're spontaneous. You may not like that shit. You're a planner, Aquarius. You don't really like that. You get thrown off like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop. Stop. I don't like surprises. Just tell me what we're doing. Tell me where we're... Tell me where the fuck we going or I'm rolling out of this bitch. They got you blindfolded trying to surprise you in the car and, and shit. And you trying to feel around, trying to figure out where you're going. And then you roll out the car in the middle of the damn street. All right. Page of Wands. Knight of Swords. This person is on your level, Aquarius. They're on your level. Yes, they are. Queen of Pentacles. Didn't I just say that? They're on your level? Didn't I just... Did, did I just said that? King and Queen of Pentacles, a divine pair, a divine match on your level. Same energy, same vibration even. Didn't I just say... Okay. So, <laughs> the Ace of Cups again. Didn't I just say they're on your level? I just said that. All right, let's go. I said I like this, Aquarius. Why do you why do I have to keep saying that? I feel like you're you're the one who's stopping this. You're the one pushing away against it. To a source. Like, no, 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 I don't wanna know. Clarify the seven of cups for Aquarius. I'm on your ass. Okay. The tower could be dealing with the Scorpio. Clarify the tower and the seven of cups. Nine of Wands, it's you. You're guarded. Clarify the Page of Pentacles. What is it about this person you feel you got to be so guarded? Two of Wands. They're completely different from anything you've experienced. Or it's a long-distance person. You, you don't do long-distance relationships. Clarify the Page of Pentacles. Or they have kids. Seven of Swords. Clarify the Page of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords. Four of Pentacles. 
they're too spontaneous you feel like they're lying or cheating or sneaking clarify the seven of swords and the four of pentacles strength holding back okay so this person has this has a different love language than you the way that they operate it comes off as weird and funny and maybe even manipulative as if they're hiding something or holding something back is this if this person is hiding something from aquarius what is it they love you what do you want me to say how many times did the two of cups come out what do you want me to say aquarius damn don't push this away y'all gonna piss me off now four of wands do you want this relationship or not this is a nice person a good person whatever come on pisces pisces The Empress, beautiful. Could be dealing with the Taurus or a Libra. You got your money together. You're stable. You're um, valued, well taken care of. They value you at work, at home, the people you're around, the things, the everyday things you do. You're, you're an asset. You're well taken care of. People like you. People favor you. You you are really treasured. All right. We got the full card. Could be dealing with an Aries or a Pisces very lively a lively person you're a risk taker you take risks but people also take risks on you i want the pisces all right wish fulfillment you are wish fulfillment for someone someone is wish fulfillment for you i see them coming in with the world card a brand new cycle with a brand new person this could be a new person or an old person ace of wands right here new wand new deck all right let's see judgment beautiful Beautiful, beautiful energy. Four majors. Clarify the Empress. Let the Emperor come out. Let it come out. <laughs> I'm going to end your reading. We got the Five of Wands coming out. Clarify Empress and the Five of Wands. People are jealous of you, Pisces, but what's new? Okay. The queen of wands i hear people are mad because your milkshake brings all the boys to the yard y'all know that um who was that girl when they was like she was like why are you mad because my pussy pops and yours don't something like that that shit was hilarious but yeah basically they're mad because your milkshake brings all the boys to the yard and theirs does not i feel like this is another woman possibly your baby dad's ex or your husband's ex and they're just mad because they chose you Okay, somebody chose you because we have the Hermit, Six of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. This man will always take care of home and the kids. I don't know what anybody else was thinking. This, this masculine will always choose his wife or his family. Um, clarify the Eight of Pentacles, King of Wands. They are the King and Queen of Wands. We, we almost getting there. I said let the emperor come out, but another divine match has already came out. Your person will always be your person. Can't nobody get in the way of that. With the chariot. Yeah, this is divinely protected and guided. Clarify. The queen, of, I'm sorry, the eight of pentacles. The king of wands came out with the eight of pentacles. So maybe there's somebody at work that you like. Somebody at work likes you. Or the people are just jealous of you at work because everyone likes you. Yeah, everyone likes you, Pisces. Here you are, right here. High Priestess. Everyone loves you, adores you, King of Pentacles. And you're super fucking cool. The King of Pentacles is a cool-ass guy or a cool-ass woman. And the Queen of Cups, you're beautiful too. Like, damn. How do you expect people not to hate? Now you're being... Now you now you got that ego. Why would they hate on me? You know damn well why. You're pissing, pissing people off being all humble and shit, Pisces. How dare you? Clarify the fool. Four of Wands, you're in this amazing, beautiful relationship. You're stable. You got your money together. People want to be you. You look good. You walk the walk. You talk the talk. Clarify the Nine of Cups. Knight of Pentacles. Happy as hell. You do rub your feet, take you out on dates. What I say? The Emperor. 
What I say? Let him let him come out. Let him do his thing. Okay. Clarify the Knight of Cups and the Nine of Cups. Four of Cups. Ugh. King of Cups. Yeah, like, what do they want from you? This this man wants you, Pisces. Or what do they want from you? This woman wants you, Pisces. That's just it. Live with it. Live with it. Eight of Wands. Live with it. <sighs> or this job opportunity is yours, Pisces. Like, what do they want? What do they what do they want you to do? Not take it? Clarify the world. Ten of Pentacles. I don't need to read no more. We got judgment in the ace of wands. This is beautiful energy, pregnancy card, communication, passion uh sex uh any anything that you want pisces anything you want six of wands victory like what 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 do you want me to say it's beautiful energy your divine match has came out already like you see the queen of pentacles right here you're beautiful you're on that level they're just mad then the chariot keeps coming out. You're going to keep moving forward. You're going to keep progressing. You're going to keep, uh, you know, applying that pressure. You're going to keep being gifted. Six of cups. You are loved. Your family is blessed. You're good. The family's good. Everything good as it should be. Justice. It's balanced. It's fair. Like, what do they want? Five of Pentacles, they are jealous. They're hating. They're mad. Page of Pentacles. You can you can turn nothing into something, Pisces. That's all I have. I'm not doing the collector for y'all ask. I'm tired. But this um thank you so much for coming back to my channel. You can like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment, leave me a love donation. That will really help me. Y'all know I'm not working right now. But um until I see you again, I've uploaded your Sunday spirit messages. Check those out. Check out your March All Signs readings. Check out your March Monthly readings. Check out um, the your person's feelings. That this is the one for no contact if you're not in contact with anyone. And I love you. Y'all be safe. Bye.